You're listening to the Culips English podcast. To download the study guide for this episode, which includes the transcript, detailed vocabulary explanations, real-world examples, and a quiz, visit our website culips.com. C U L I P S dot com. Hey, everybody. My name is Andrew. And my name is Morag. And you're listening to Culips. Hey there, Morag. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Morag, I am so happy right now because you may or may not know this, but this is our 50th simplified. Speech episode. So this is a big milestone for Culips. Fifty simplified speech episodes. Wow, that's crazy! Awesome. The time really flies. I can't believe we've already recorded fifty of these things. That's wild. No, definitely, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Morag, in this episode, we're gonna talk. All about drinking water, drinking water. So, the type of water that you and I drink. And at first, some people could possibly think this is a rather odd topic, but I think this will be an interesting conversation, actually. All right, I'm excited. But just before we get into it. I would like to remind all of our listeners that there is a study guide available for this episode. And guys, if you want to check out the study guide, all you have to do is visit our website, culips dot com, and you can give it a download. Okay, Morag, drinking water.、Mm-hmm. You're located right now in Montreal, Canada, and I'm curious. In Montreal, how do people drink water? Do most people drink tap water or bottled water? What's the deal? I think that most people drink either tap water or Water that has been filtered right after it comes from the tap, so a home filtration system, like like a Brita. I think that's the most common. Okay, and what about you personally? What's your preference? Oh, tap water all the way. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And do you use a filter or do you drink it straight from the tap? I use a filter for my plants, actually, Andrew. A filter for your plants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you give the plants the <laughs> nice filtered water, but you just drink the straight tap water. Am I understanding this correctly? Yep, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so why do you do that? Well. When you give plants city tap water, you can see there are sort of minerals, I think, but a bit of the、uh, hard water, the hardness of the water, sits on the top of the soil, and it's not great for them. They're delicate little creatures, right? So I filter the water for them, but I'm a、uh, Much heartier creature, so <laughs> I'm fine with the tap water. The minerals are okay for you. They are fine for me. A okay. Yeah, well, I am very similar to you because when I lived in Canada, I also drank water straight from the tap. I didn't bother to filter it or boil it.、Mm-hmm. Um, Just right from the tap, it tasted good, and you know I lived in Canada for, well, 
almost 30 years and <laughs> <laughs> I had no problem. So I imagine it's safe. I think it's pretty good all across the country. I think occasionally there can be warnings in certain places. If there are certain natural disasters that could cause a problem with the water, flooding, that kind of thing. But otherwise, it's pretty delicious all the way across. I actually, uh, I have preferences for tap water. Do you, Andrew? Like, regionally? Ah, regional preferences. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't really noticed a taste difference. Oh. Um, in the cities, but I will say that when you're in the countryside, sometimes the tap water can taste a little bit funky. And mm -hmm. if you're really out in the middle of nowhere in Canada, a lot of times there will be boil water advisories. True. Like you said, Morag, it's really totally fine to drink tap water in the urban centers in Canada, but in the more remote places, usually you have to be careful. So I've noticed a taste difference in the countryside compared to the city. But what's your taste preference for tap water? I think that BC tap water is more delicious. Or say, <laughs> no, seriously. Um, Vancouver Island-ish, the lower portion of BC, Mm -hmm. delicious delicious um, <laughs> super delicious yeah but uh you can taste the recycled nature of the tap water in bigger cities mm -hmm. it's not bad you can get used to it but you can taste the difference between hard and soft water so hard water has more minerals in it more egg Although I grew up drinking tap water in Canada, now that I'm living in Korea, I drink exclusively bottled water and it breaks my heart. I hate drinking bottled water. Exclusively? Yeah. Uh, people have told me not to drink the tap water here. Oh no. So all of the water that I drink comes from bottles and... Actually, I have never seen a Korean drink tap water before. Everybody drinks bottled water here. Do you think that's cultural or is it actually dangerous to drink the water? Because I know there are a lot of places in the world where it is dangerous to drink the water. To be honest, um, I hate drinking bottled water because I think the consumption of the plastic bottles that the water is stored in is just terrible for the environment. Mm -hmm. So when I came to Korea for the first time, I just drank tap water <laughs> because I Googled it and Google said it was safe and it was fine. I did this for like six months, but when some of my Korean friends found out, they freaked out and mm -hmm. they said, don't do that. You'll die. It's really mm. unhealthy. So um, I got scared and I thought, well, maybe if it's bad for my health, it's a long-term effect, not a short-term effect. So I might not be noticing that I'm, you know, slowly poisoning myself Ooh. or something. So I got, <laughs> I got spooked and I switched to <laughs> bottled water. <laughs> that makes sense. But, uh, oh, so sad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I prefer tap. So unfortunately, it's just a reality. And I know for many people, it's a reality around the world. No, I mean, access to safe and clean drinking water is a major problem in a lot of the world. We're both very lucky. Morag, I got one question left here for you before we sign off for today. Mm -hmm. And it's about the temperature of your water that Ooh. you like to drink. Do you like to drink ice cold water or room temperature or warm water? What's your preference? I think that there's something to the flavor of really cold water. It has none. 
and that's <laughs> that's quite um, quite pleasant. But I mm-hmm. tend to drink room temperature water. Me too. I've been uh, definitely made fun of for that. I worked at an Indian restaurant for a while, and I remember my bosses were very unhappy. <laughs> they thought that I was doing something <laughs> bad for my health because I wasn't drinking <laughs> hot water or cold water. It was room temperature was bad. <laughs> so I know that there are uh, there are different schools of thought on that one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, that's that's a topic for a different episode, but there are definitely different cultural beliefs about water temperature. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm with you. I prefer to drink room temperature water. And the reason for that is that I'm a chugger. So <laughs> when I drink water, I drink a lot at once. I don't just have one little glass I have like half a liter at at one time and if it's room temperature I can do that amount but if it's really cold then you know I get an ice cream headache or something so I I can't I can't drink too much if it's really cold so I just like it room temperature I think uh same practice exact opposite reasoning um I tend to (laughs) sip the water and forget that it's there so uh, it stays neither <laughs> hot nor cold. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of room temperature by default. By, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morag. Well, we'll wrap it up here for today. But just before we go, I want to thank everybody for listening and once again the study guide for this episode which includes a transcript and detailed vocabulary explanations example sentences a quiz and even some discussion questions that study guide is available on our website qlips.com We are also all over the internet on all of your favorite social media websites like Facebook and Twitter, YouTube and Instagram. So if you are a social network user, just search for Qlips English Podcast and you'll be sure to find us. And finally, if you want to get in contact with us, just send us an email. Our address is contact at culips.com. That's it for now. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>